So I turned 19 five days ago. And I kind of just got hit with this feeling like, fuck, this whole life thing, it's going by a lot faster than I thought it was. Right, so I'm only one year away from being 20. You know, like, and that just gave me a sense of urgency. You know, I need to up my game a little bit. I need to start taking those proper steps from childhood to manhood. So in this video, I'm gonna go over three things that every guy needs to stop doing before they turn 19. All right, or at least when they turn 19, they need to put their foot down and say, I'm no longer doing this. All right, so the first thing every guy needs to stop doing by the time they turn 19 is letting your emotions get the better of you. Letting your emotions dictate your actions. I know it sounds cruel, but the brutal fact of the matter is, as a man, right, as a male, you are heavily judged by how emotional you are, right? See, it's your nature to provide and protect for women and children, right? That's kind of why you're here. And if you, you're, you're, you will simply be incapable of doing that, right? If your emotions get the better of you, you need to develop some kind of stoicism. You need to develop the ability to regulate your emotions, right? I'm not saying run away from them, right? That's bad. Right? Let yourself feel every emotion that comes your way. But you need to learn to control it. Don't let it control you. Because if you do, you're going to end up in a lot of bad places in life. Right? Like, 99% of the times in my life where I've been like, fuck, how did I get here? It's because I let my emotions take the better of me. 99% of the, of the mistakes I've made in my life were because I let my emotions get the better of me. As a man, right? Like, and especially by the time you're 19, you need to have control over your emotions. Otherwise, you're just not gonna be able to function and excel in any area of life. It's that simple. Now, the second thing, and this is an interesting one, right? Because a lot of people talk about how, you know, like they're the main character in their life, right? And yes, you should be. You should be the main character in your own life, right? You should be focused on yourself, growing yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, all that, all that shit. But you can't think that the world revolves around you. You need to get over this kind of childlike, this childlike entitlement that everything should go your way all the time. Right, because if you are the main character, think about all your favorite movies. Does everything go their way all the time for the main character? No, right, that'd be a boring fucking movie. Right, main characters need struggle in order to grow, right, in order, in order to have a character arc, right? So you can't get, if you're 19, you can't continue to be in this entitled state of mind where as soon as something doesn't go your way, right, you start blaming everyone else and you just, you can't handle the fact that there are things outside of your control that are negatively affecting you. Yes, you should have some kind of, you should have this view of yourself where you, yeah, you're the main character of your life. You know, you're grinding hard, you're gonna be successful. You know in your head you're gonna be successful. And every day is another chapter in the book, right? Another scene in the, in the movie montage, right? I think that's a really good mindset. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. That doesn't mean you can't let, that doesn't mean it's always gonna go your way, right? There's gonna be struggle. There are gonna be obstacles in your way. And you're just gonna to have to accept that. And accept that the entire world doesn't revolve around you. Your life can revolve around you if you let it, right? If you take control. But the world itself won't. 
You're the main character of your life. You're not, not the main character of the world. Right? That's an important distinction to make. The third thing that every guy needs to stop doing before they turn 19 is not taking 100% accountability for themselves. And this goes for everything in life. Literally every single thing. Jocko Willink, you probably know who he is. He always talks about 100% ownership, right? You should be taking ownership of everything in your life, even if, even if it isn't necessarily your fault, right? Every emotion you feel, it's because of you. You can't blame anyone else for the way you feel. Right? You can't blame anyone else for the way your life is. You need, you need to take ownership of it because that's the only way you're ever going to move forward. If someone yells at you, right? say it's your boss, your teacher, if someone yells at you and you feel shitty about yourself, that's you. That's not them. They said something to you and you decided to let that make you feel shitty. Okay, you are responsible for how you respond to everything that happens to you in your life. There's no getting around that. Right? If I stub my toe on this bench, and then I get angry. I can't get mad at the benches here, right? That would be, that would be dumb. Right, it's my fault that I kicked the toe, my toe on the bench and it's my fault that I'm feeling pain. It's my fault that I'm angry. The same thing goes with literally every single thing in life. Every time someone yells at you, every time you fail, right? Let's say you're in the gym and you're going for a one rep max, right? but your little brother was being loud last night and you couldn't get enough sleep. And you end up failing that one rep max. You still have to take 100% ownership for the fact that you failed. You can't blame your little brother, right? And yeah, it might be his fault. It might actually be his fault. But it's not gonna get you anywhere in life if you blame other people. Take 100% ownership for everything that happens in your life. And I promise you, you're just gonna move forward so much faster. All right? Okay, so that was three things every guy needs to stop doing by the time they're 19. These are three things that I feel like I really have stopped doing. They're things that I'm always working on. And they're just three parts of how I'm continuing to build myself every day. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name's Lenny Chun, and I'm starting a revolution of young men who are sick and tired of the modern way of life, who are sick and tired of our reality being controlled by a tiny rectangle, sick and tired of being fed information from the fucking, whatever you wanna call it, the matrix, right, the government, whatever. Something's wrong with the way we're living. And we want to get back in touch with that primal masculinity that makes us men. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and join the revolution. I'll see you in the next one.